everyone and welcome back to my studio well if it's not your very first time on my channel if you watch my videos sometimes then you know it already probably that if i wear my shirt with stars it means it's time for another zodiac doll transformation and right now in december it's finally time for my sagittarius people you had to wait really long and this is actually already the second last doll of this collection yeah, you really had to wait almost for a year and even now in December, you know, normally I post my Zodiac dolls quite in the beginning of a new Zodiac cycle. But right now I can tell you honestly, with all this FTC and YouTube and copper rules and with all this dangerous situation, with all this apocalypse, I feel quite out of my schedule, out of my normal routine and that's why you will see this video probably quite already in the end of the Sagittarius cycle. But I really hope you are going to see it on the 13th of December and if not then on the 20th of December. So I don't know what day is it today for you. For me it's what is it the 28th of November and I'm ready to start working on my Sagittarius doll but first of all I want to wish of course happy birthday for all my Sagittarius people here I really hope guys you're enjoying your month and I wish you of course the very best my husband is actually a Sagittarius as well so I love Sagittarius people so and now let's move to the doll transformation and especially for this makeover I have kept this Avea Trotter doll already for I don't know for a year and a half probably I was waiting for some very special project for this doll and right now I think it's her time to get a complete transformation so right now we're going to undress this doll we're going to cut her hair off and by the way i remember someone told me in the comments that i have to watch out with her neck because they're pretty breakable so i really hope i'm not going to break anything here but anyway thank you so much for letting me know so I'm going to start working and meanwhile please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and of course hit the bell button, hit the like button and I'm going to start the transformation. So here is the doll from Close. one of her hands is missing, you can see it, so I will have to borrow the hands from another doll for her. And now I'm going to remove her outfit and all this stuff around her body and then I will cut off her hair. I'm warming up the head to make it soft and to melt the glue inside of the head and then I will try to take it off and to not break the neck. Okay, nothing is broken, we're lucky today, so now let's remove the rest of the hair from the inside of the hat using my old tweezers, like always. And then I remove all the paint from her head using our toxic and dangerous pure acetone. Thank you. 
As a concept for my Sagittarius doll, I have chosen a winter unicorn. Because Sag is quite often being drawn as a center, with the bow, with arrows, you know, with all this stuff. And I've decided to push this idea a little bit farther and to make a unicorn instead of a center. Just because unicorns are cuter, you know? So, I want to give my doll two kinds of hair. The top part will be this super pretty minted lilac blend. And under this greenish hair, the mix of green and purple, I want to put this pretty seashell pink. That's why right now I'm going to cover the head with two different colors of acrylics. And then I will give her new hair using my rerouting tool. After I finish this job in a couple of hours, I add tacky glue inside of the head and then I let it dry completely. So I've protected her hair already with masking tape and now I'm going to add a unicorn horn to the forehead. And I start with making yeah, a hole in her head. Looks already very good, it's of course 13 plus. Super, I'm happy. Then I make a horn using a piece of sticky Warbler Cobra cast thermoplastic and I install it into the hole. Now let's quickly prepare the body, I give it a new set of hands instead of the missing ones and I also sand the body with nail buffers to remove the glossy top from the surface. And after this, I cover the head and the body with a couple of layers of white acrylics using my airbrush. I've sealed the surface with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and now I'm going to draw her face. Today I'm not going to use my regular, you know, kind of brownish pastels and instead of this I'm going to use mostly blue and purple colors and then I will also add some cold pinkish color to her eyes and lips to make the face like more cute.
Now it's time to work on her body and I'm going to start with blushing it with the same blue and purple pastels. Now let's add some details, here I have some very cute snowflake glitter and I'm going to attach a couple of them to the doll. Now I'm going to take this very special powder, it's a special powder for nail design and I'm going to mix it with a glossy varnish and as a result I will get a very pretty kind of iridescent unicorn skin gloss that I want to apply to the doll's feet and to the horn. And you know what? This gloss with this unicorn skin effect, it looks so pretty that I've decided to apply it to the complete bottom part of the body. I mean like to, to the horse part of the body. And now I'm going to take this fake snow and I will glue it to the doll's body, turning our unicorn into a 100% winter one. Attach such a tinsel tape for nail design around the horn and then I will also add a little bit of this fake snow to it.
Okay, what is the next step? Let's probably make the accessories now. So first of all, our doll needs a pair of wings because there are holes on the back of the body. So I don't know, let's use them to make a unicorn with wings. It's always even cooler. So first of all, I'm going to use warbler thermoplastic to make the basic construction. And then I will take these feathers and I will attach them to the plastic construction. I bought these feathers already probably, I don't know, two years ago and now I can finally use them for something. Okay, now the wings already look extremely cute, but I think I still want to paint them with acrylics and apply a layer of our iridescent gloss. And of course, since our doll is a Sagittarius, I will make a bow and a quiver and a set of arrows for her using Warbler Thermoplastic. Thank you. 
Oh wait, I completely forgot about it, but we still have to paint these doll's ears. I don't know, let's do it very quickly and then we'll finally style her hair. I give her some very cute curls and also decorate the top of her head with the snow. Now I just need to glue the false lashes and this time I'm going to use white eye lashes, you know, winter special edition. And then I will also apply a touch of glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And then we will finally take a look at the end result pictures. So here is my gorgeous Sagittarius Winter Unicorn Girl. You know, I've made already probably around 200 dolls here on my channel. Well, for sure 150. And this one is certainly one of the most gorgeous dolls I've ever made. It was of course quite a big project with lots of details, but you know, the result is also very, very, very satisfying for me. When I look at this kind of a result, I realize that it is worthy of all these hours and hours of work. And I just hope, like always, that it is as satisfying for you as it is for me. Of course, I want to hear my Sagittarius people here. What do you think? Is my work Sag approved? And all other zodiac signs are also very welcome to our discussion, of course. I'm looking forward to hear all your opinions. And this doll will be for sale on eBay for three days, so if you need a winter unicorn in your life, you will find the link in the description box under this video. So, and that was my makeover of the week, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. I know, I tell it in every single video, but this is really very important. If, for example, many people watch this video and many people push the like button, then YouTube algorithm is going to see that, yes, this video was interesting for these people, who have already watched it so it might be interesting as well for some wider group of people and like this youtube shows my video to bigger groups of people and so far so it's not just for you know having some number subscribers number or something like this so that's why everyone on youtube just keeps repeating it again and again asking you to subscribe to hit the bell button to hit the like button because it really helps our channels to grow so thank you so much for watching this video today. I wish you like always the very best weekend. Love you guys. See you next week Friday. Bye.